Madison, bring up the last case file again. Um, if you want to talk about today, I'm all ears. I'm fine, Addison. I just need to make sure I didn't miss anything. I can't afford another mistake. You think the Nighthawk or the Falcon or the Quail let things slip? File, please. Here you go, boss. Come on, Addison. My bad. Thought you said Kyle, please? This is so awesome. <laughs> this was kind of my first sleepover. Ember, thanks for everything. Hey, we're friends. This is what friends do. You know what? How about we get some sleep? You take the top bunk. I kind of like to stretch out at night. Good idea. Not a lot of room up here. No, there isn't. Night, Ember. Uh-huh. Got a minute? Sure. Want to explain why this was on my dresser? I can't take the pen. I don't deserve to be the owl. I'm not ready. Michaela, you made a mistake. There's not an agent in the field who hasn't failed in the course of a mission. I let Innovate down. I let you down. You didn't let me down. You've never let me down. Is that my boss or my mom speaking? In this case, that's both of us. I'm gonna let you in on a little lesson your grandmother taught me when I was a new agent. As painful as it is to experience it, failure is part of what makes us successful. Because the best way to achieve true success is to learn from and be strengthened by our mistakes. Michaela, I trust you and your instincts. Now you need to. I just need to do a better job of focusing on my work. Is that why you and Kyle broke up? How'd you know? Hello, I'm the head of an international spy organization. Comes in handy when you're a mom. My relationship with Kyle was getting in the way of my job. The case comes first. Michaela, all innovate cases are important. But what's just as important is to have a life outside of work. I guess, but... Honey, you need to find balance. Your father and I struggled with that, too. I, I just wish that I'd made more time while I still had the chance. Dad's the one who left, Mom. It wasn't your fault. The point is, it takes work, but you can have both a career and a personal life. Believe me, sweetie, there's room to be both Michaela McAllister and the owl. Thanks, Mom. to interrupt, but Brian needs you in the lab, Agent McAllister. Or can I call you the owl? Well? Addison, let Brian know the owl is on her way. Oh, it's a tarantula! Mm. They're not poisonous. Its crate is addressed to the Rio de Janeiro Zoo. Guessing his friends are headed there. Friends. Yeah, of course, he has friends. Mm -hmm. uh, Addison, how's it going with the ship's computer? It's still trying. Just, um, keep that creepy crawly far away from me. Don't you listen to the grouchy widow notebook. Spiders are the world's most misunderstood creatures. They're vital to the ecosystem. They eat pesky insects and protect crops. If you didn't have corn spiders, entire cornfields could be destroyed. No cornfields means no corn. That means no tamales, no tortillas. Bad news, Em. I can't get enough of a Wi-Fi signal inside this aluminum death trap! Anyone else feeling a little caliente? Tarantulas thrive best when the temperature is between 70 and 75 degrees. They don't do well much above 80. 
Then we have something in common. Something's most likely keeping tabs on this fella's climate, like a wireless thermostat with a dedicated signal. We have one in Cafe Adams to monitor our walk-in fridge. I can try to hardwire Addison to its transmission. And I think I know where we can find it. I'd go in there, but someone else is gonna have to hold Bernie here. I don't think so. You two seem to have a special bond. Well, I guess Maddie always said, face your fears. This is just staring mine right in its hairy eyeballs. Well, good luck, Em. Uh, you're coming with me. Great. Hello, I'm coming in. The camera we planted on Grady is working great. Is it me or does it seem like this guy's in a real hurry? Who's he calling? Doing a reverse phone number lookup. <sighs> Maywood Glen Cab Company? Yeah, I need a ride to the airport. As soon as you can get here. Why is he leaving town before the concert? Looks like Grady's trying to make a run for it. If he's not stealing those three T's, he might know who is. We have to do something to stop him, or at least slow him down until Michaela gets back. Hotel Millennial. Hi, this is room 519. I would like to order room service. Lots of it. Now. Found it. Addison, get us out of here. Aye, aye, Captain. Rerouting us back to the dock right now. It's okay to be impressed. Sometimes facing your fears is all it takes to conquer them. What? Come on, room service, get there. wanted an answer, we just got an answer. Maddie's definitely gone rogue. Today on Bryant's, we are joined by my FSS AVF, Michaela McAllister! <laughs> so Michaela, the buzz is you've got something shocking to show us. That's right, we're talking static electricity. As they say, two heads are better than one. Static electricity is what happens when you walk on a carpet, touch a doorknob, and generate a spark. Ouch. You're generating an imbalance between negative and positive electrical charges, which can become a hair-raising experience. Audience, you decide. Does this look totally current or like a super bad hair day? Kyle's at 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I should talk to him about Michaela. Are you loca? It's a recipe for disaster and I know my recipes. I'm just going to ask if he's taking Hannah to the dance. <sighs> okay, I support you, Chica. But let the record show, if this goes badly, I was home sick today. Hmm? Hey, Kyle, how's it going? Hey, Cam, what's up? Well, I was just wondering if you were taking anyone to the dance, like, off the top of my head, say Hannah? No. That's great. Uh, because, see, I have this friend. Oh, and this friend wants to ask me? Yes, but she's a little shy, and she's afraid what your answer would be. Well, you can tell your friend that I would say yes. Great, she'll be happy to hear that. Uh, just to be clear, you don't mean you, right? Oh, no, no, not me. <laughs> I don't want to go with you. <laughs> um, I, I mean, not that I wouldn't go with you, because you wouldn't be a bad choice for someone if they wanted to ask them to go as friends. Hey, you know, it's okay. I definitely wouldn't ask you either. Um, well, that's, that's not uh, what I meant. It, it's just that I'm not uh, interested in uh, 
even though there's no reason why someone or I wouldn't ask you, because uh, who wouldn't be interested in you or ask you, uh, including me? Exactly, and I'd say yes, because I wouldn't say no, because there would be no reason why someone like me wouldn't want to go with someone like you, right? Uh, uh, wait, so does this mean we're going to, together? Um, I guess so. Okay. Well, I will meet you there. So, I'm going to the dance with Kyle. Okay? And not K like okay, but K as in what? How did this happen? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to make a graph.